Bishop Wooden here. Listen, I just finished doing a couple of interviews with the media dealing with Akil Dinkins, the young 24-year-old African-American male who was shot by the police, if the reports are true, seven times in the back, if the reports are true. Our concern about this, and it, and it, is, it is a legitimate concern, that uh, Dinkins, regardless to his, uh, his rap sheet, regardless to how many times he's been in trouble with the law, I don't know any of that, but here's what I do know. I do know that he's a citizen of this country, he's an individual, he's a human being, and all citizens of this country is guaranteed their due the rights to due process. And Dinkins did not get due process. And I find it amazing that a young man who happens to be white can gun down 11 people in a church in South Carolina or in Colorado. A uh, older, a grown man who happens to be white can shoot up a Planned Parenthood clinic. And as you know, uh, I, my heart does not go out to Planned Parenthood at all. But for this man to murder people at the clinic, and yet this man gets due process. And here we find yet another case where an African-American male, unarmed, um, doesn't get due process. I know that the law enforcement, the officer is saying that uh, it's self-defense. And perhaps it is, I don't know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not giving a rush to judgment. I do think we should allow the SBI and those who are investigating to let the investigation run its course. But it's hard for me to understand how uh, it could be self-defense and the officer actually thought that he was, uh, his life was in danger and shoot the man seven times in the back. I have heard from the governor's office. I put a call into our governor and the governor responded to my call right away. And I appreciate the governor's office and their quick response, and they are concerned. They don't know whether it was a murder or a lawful shooting, but they do acknowledge that uh, either way, the young man is dead. There's a loss of life. There's a grieving uh, mom. There's a grieving dad. There's a grieving family. And, uh, and they are concerned about that. And I hope that there is a transparent investigation. But I'm, I'm coming to you saying, let's pray about this. And I, and I really wanted to do this because uh, thank God for the media, but I want my position to be known. And sometimes when doing interviews, the people I met with today are upstanding people. But I've had situations where we were made to appear to be saying one thing when we were saying another. My position is simply this. We've got to abide by the rule of law. And part of the rule of law is due process. And the police who are sanctioned by God, and I am a friend and a uh, proponent of law enforcement, but no law enforcement officer has the right, the authority, or the privilege of being judge, jury, and executioner. And it certainly appears in this case that that transpired. And I hope that we are wrong, but one thing is for sure, the young man is dead. It's a senseless loss of life, and uh, we're praying for the family. Thanks.